A U.S. Coast Guard cutter fired approximately 30 warning shots at Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy IRGCN, boats fast approaching a U.S. naval formation in the Strait of Hormuz on Monday. Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby said a group of 13 Iranian fast attack boats conducted unsafe and unprofessional maneuvers. He added that the warning shots were fired after the Iranian fast boats came as close as 150 yards or 450 feet of six U.S. military vessels, including the USS Monterey, that was escorting the guided missile submarine USS Georgia. The U.S. Coast Guard cutter Maui fired the warning shots from a 50 caliber machine gun, and after this, the Iranian vessels left. The incident follows at least two unsafe and unprofessional encounters U.S. ships had with Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy in April, according to statements from the U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Iran played with fire when it provoked the U.S. Navy fleet escorting USS Georgia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. While the relationship between the U.S. and Iran has deteriorated significantly in recent times and several hostile actions have been taken by each, this one has special significance. Viewers may note that one of the U.S. vessels traveling through the Strait of Hormuz in the formation was USS Monterey, which seized illicit weapons in the North Arabian Sea last week. As per the U.S. Navy, the ship seized Russian-made anti-tank guided missiles, thousands of Chinese Type 56 assault rifles, hundreds of PKM machine guns, sniper rifles, and rocket-propelled grenade launchers. Apparently, the arms package was headed for Yemen, whose Houthi rebels are supported by Iran. The Strait of Hormuz is a strait between the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman. It provides the only sea passage from the Persian Gulf to the open ocean. It's one of the world's most strategically important choke points. On the north coast lies Iran, and on the south coast, the United Arab Emirates and Musandam, an exclave of Oman. At its narrowest, the strait has a width of only 21 nautical miles, or 39 kilometers. Around 33% of the world's liquefied natural gas and almost 20% of total global oil production passes through the strait, making it one of the most important sea routes. Because of its narrow width, it's kind of a choke point. Small missile boats and fast attack vessels that can maneuver easily in these waters can be used to harass large warships as well as commercial vessels. Iran has invested in several kinds of small vessels and has developed strategies to deploy them effectively in the strait. In a September 11, 2008 report, the Washington Institute for Near East Policy said that in the two decades since the Iraqi imposed war on Iran, the IRGC has excelled in naval capabilities and is able to wage unique asymmetric warfare against larger naval forces. According to the report, the IRGC Navy has been transformed into a highly motivated, well-equipped, and well-financed force and is effectively in control of the world's oil lifeline, the Strait of Hormuz. USS Georgia is an Ohio-class nuclear-powered submarine. The U.S. Navy has 18 Ohio-class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines SSBN, 
and four that were later converted to guided missile submarines SSGN. USS Georgia is one of the four which was converted. It carries a lethal payload. USS Georgia has four 21-inch 533mm torpedo tubes. It can be used to accommodate Mark 48 torpedoes. Mark 48 torpedo has a range of 50 kilometers or 31 miles. It has 650 pounds or 290 kilogram high explosive warhead. The submarine also has 154 BGM 109 Tomahawks in 22 groups of seven. Tomahawk is a long range, all weather, jet powered subsonic cruise missile. It was designed and initially produced in the 1970s by General Dynamics. At least six variants and multiple upgraded versions have been introduced since then, including air, sub and ground launched variants and conventional and nuclear armed ones. Tomahawk uses a liquid fuel turbojet engine because it enabled greater range than a rocket engine of roughly the same size. A slower speed also makes low altitude flight more viable, which in turn makes the missile much more difficult to detect by radar. Depending on the variant, the missile has a maximum range of 1,550 miles or 2,500 kilometers. Iran has used its fleet of small fast attack craft in many ways. For example, in December last year, the US Navy has confirmed that multiple small Iranian boats ran alongside the Nimitz-class supercarrier USS Abraham Lincoln and other ships from her strike group as she sailed through the Strait of Hormuz into the Gulf of Oman. Though in this case no provocative maneuvers were initiated, Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy made its presence felt. While the U.S. fleet is capable enough to crush the Iranian crafts, USS Georgia is a different kind of beast. USS Georgia can inflict serious damage with its massive payload of tomahawks if it targets key Iranian cities and strategic sites. Iranian provocations are nothing new, but seem to have increased several notches in recent times. This is a dangerous game and can go out of control any day. There is a probability that someday Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy's luck will run out, and the consequences will not be good for the country and region. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.